Happy Christmas from M0FXB. M0FXB. So we're going to have a go at doing split memory on the Yesu FT5D. And I found this in the advanced manual, not the standard manual. So here's the uh, instructions. Pause the screen if you want to read them. It's one of those things where I will, I will demonstrate it further in the video, but it's nice to sort of look and go through uh, the instructions step by step so you can do this. So I'll, I'll move on now to actually doing what you can see on the screen. M0FXB, let's do a video on split operation of the Yesu FT5D, where you can receive on one frequency and transmit on another frequency in the same memory channel. I'll just show you this working now. So if we look here and we transmit, we're on 145500 receive, we're transmitting 434400TX. We've got a little plus and minus showing here at the top rather than just a minus or just a plus. And we could even check the other frequency by pushing the, the money button here and look, it takes us to the other frequency. So how have we set this up? First thing is go to VFO mode, so press VM. I will show, say that you can do this in single receive as we are now. If you hold down the AB, that's dual receive. But we'll do it in single and we'll zoom in. So let's set our receive frequency. So we'll just hold our finger on the VFO and we'll go one, four, five, five hundred. Okay, and we're keeping it simplex. If you want to set a tone, just hold down F menu. Um, and signaling here. And you've got squelch type and, and tone squelch frequency. But we're not going to do that now. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll hold down the VM button. To store it into a new memory channel. Now, if it's white, you can use it. If it's red, you can't. So we're going to do it on two, channel 202 and we're going to hold, just tap the VF, VM button or we'll hold it and then you can tag it. Now I'm going to tag it uh, in a way where I can, where I know what the split frequency is on. So I'm going to call it split and then I'm going to put in the actual frequency that I'm going to program so for the transmit so we go to now you don't have to do this this is just my way so i can find it four three four uh, dash four hundred is the one we're going to use for split maybe i shouldn't have put in the dash so anyway you get the idea four three four forty so hold down the vm and it's in that it's in the memory so 202 is one four five five hundred. So let's go back to VFO memory, and now let's put in our transmit. Now we can change band. We don't have to be on the same band, so we'll go to a different band. Four three four four hundred. Still in VFO. Uh, let's go into FM mode, and there's no tone. So uh, the next thing we'll do is hold down the VM button. And this time we're actually going to turn the top knob back one. So it goes to the 202 that we've just programmed. Now we're going to press the PTT and we're going to hold down the VM button. And that's now created the split channel. So let's go to VFO, back to memory, because it automatically switched me to VFO. Let's go back to memory. And now what you're seeing is a plus and a minus next to the memory channel. And if I transmit, we're transmitting on the other band and frequency. Now we can check the input with this button underneath the PTT. So I think that's a very neat feature. I'm not into satellite work, but maybe that would help with satellite work. As you can see, we've named the channel split 43440. Now we could have just put in the frequency. So for easy recognition. So I hope this helps you with your FT5. It's an excellent radio. And uh, if you're finding my videos helpful, uh, please like and subscribe 
uh, my channel uh, and uh, I hope to catch you on air using these radios. 7-3, all the best.